All right, so today we are gonna unbox and test out the cart six and a half inch circular saw. Now this uh, has a, a high speed of 4,700 RPM and a thin curved blade. It has a vacuum attachment, which that's interesting. And uh, it fits uh, one and a one and one quarter and one and seven eighths vacuum hoses. The cutting depth is up to two and one sixteenths. Zero to negative 56 degrees. And, uh, and yeah, we are going to test this out and see how it actually works. And everyone knows if you get a new saw, you get an aftermarket blade because the blades that normally come with the tool from all brands sucks. This is a tool only item and I did receive this from TTI. So I'm actually curious how this performs. So let, let's unbox this. Alrighty, so it comes with, of course, instructions and warranty. Uh, that spacing that goes into the uh, uh, instructions bag. That spacing, and then we get the blade. Six and a half inch blade, uh, 24 carbide teeth. Now, when it comes to cutting smooth cuts, 24 teeth it, uh, is not good. You want more teeth than 24. This is for your standard uh, just cutting a two by four just to, you know just to cut it but get a bigger uh get a more teeth blade uh, 24 teeth is not enough then we get the tool there we go now that is the vacuum attachment Alrighty, so That is the tool. So this is model number, uh, it's right there, HPCS01, six and a half inch blade, 4700 RPM. Now the, the safety guard is plastic. And yes, it is powered by the 20 volt, uh, their, their 20 volt system. And so does it come with an Allen key? Yes, it does. Let's put this blade on. Oh, that's right, the locking. The locking button is right there. And remember, putting on blades is righty loosey, lefty tighty. The uh, putting on blades is the exact opposite of what you normally put on. And there we go. Alrighty, so let's grab some uh, let's grab some batteries. Alrighty, so I do have two batteries. I do have a four amp hour, which the battery is full. And I do have a two amp hour, which I do not know what the battery life on the two amp hour is, unfortunately. But let's throw the two amp hour, hour in. Just like that, that's what it looks like on the back. Let's let it rip. Seems pretty quiet. Not too shabby at all. Right, let's see if there if we could tell a sound difference with the four amp hour battery. Oh yeah, you, you can tell that extra wind at the end. The battery doesn't give the tool more power. The amount of cells inside keep the motor from slowing down when it's being used because the more cells is able to take the load. So it doesn't give it more power, it just retains the power better. Alrighty, so first we are gonna start small. Remember safety first, you guys. Wear gloves and safety glasses. All right, so first we're gonna start off small. We are gonna see on how well this does with the two amp hour battery. Ready, go. Actually, a nice clean cut. That's not bad. It's a very nice clean cut. No laser, by the way. There's no laser whatsoever. All right, so ready, go. Not bad. Not bad. Now let's do a four amp hour. All right, so ready. Go. Oh yeah, 80, 
That's it, it really is smooth, you guys. It really is smooth. Now let's see what happens if I don't push uh, touch the guard at all. That's actually that's actually really really smooth. That's actually really really smooth. Now guys, this is safe. I do not hit this whatsoever. It's it's okay. It's uh, it's a little it's not really normal, but it clears it clears my bench. All right, so ready? We are going to go up to this line right here. Ready? Go. It stopped. It stopped. And time. All right, I could really use a railway battery right now to blow this stuff off. The battery life on this is still full. All right, we're gonna go one more time. All right, so ready, go. That time it was a lot better. It did not stop. What we're gonna do is we are gonna change the deg the the degree on this and see how well this holds up. Go. Did a 45 degree cut without stopping. It did a fantastic job. So for a DIYer, Heart is a really good brand to get into. Easily cuts two by fours, you know, and two by fours is the, is is like the standard. And so so yeah, it it did a fantastic job. Uh, time will tell on uh, when we conduct more tests and versus videos between other uh, circular saws. And we are going to see how well this holds up and build some stuff in the future during summer. So, like, I got a lot of stuff to work on, work on the, around the house, especially outside. And we're going to use all of these tools to do so, and we're going to see how well these perform. Uh, a DIYer, this is a perfect circular saw to, to get into if your main store that you shop at is Walmart. You know, uh, it's licensed by TTI, so TTI runs it. And I'm a huge fan of TTI, so I support Hart 100% along with Ryobi and Milwaukee and all the other brands. And so yeah, th this uh this did a, a a great job for what it was uh, for what it's designed for. And as you can see, the battery is still full. Nope, battery's down to three bars. Three bars. And so yes, yeah, so if you get, if you have hard tools, I suggest you get a four amp hour battery. It's a big difference. So I want to, I want to thank TTI for sending me this. I'm glad I have it in my arsenal, and it will be in future videos for versus videos to see what tool actually performs better doing certain tasks. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do a little demonstration, unboxing, and demonstration of this, and show you the specs. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.